The George H.W. Bush aircraft carrier sails deep within the Arabian Gulf. Seven levels below the flight deck, aviation ordnance men are hard at work. They must build bombs for the day's strike mission against ISIS. All the components will come separately in order to tailor make the different bombs for the different pilots and the different needs that they have. Bombs come in three sizes that can level everything from a sedan to an underground bunker. The smallest are 500 pounds and seven feet when fully assembled. The biggest are nearly 13 feet and weigh almost 2,000 pounds. It takes at least 10 sailors to assemble one bomb. How we get on the two? Roger. Right now we're building up the GBU-54. This is typically used for a mobile target. For instance, if you have someone in a car that you're trying to defeat, you'll normally use this kind of bomb. The GBU-54 is a type of bomb called a JDAM. That stands for Joint Direct Attack Munition, meaning it's guided by a GPS or a laser lock onto a target. First up, the ordnance team assembles the nose. It contains the laser seeker that allows the bomb to track its target after it's left the plane. Next, they insert the fuse and install the safety switch. These keep the bomb safe on the jet and enable it to detonate upon impact. Without these, a JDAM is just a $20,000 hunk of metal. There is one final ingredient to an AO's recipe for explosive success, the tail kit, a necessary feature that steers the bomb to its target. Pickens and her team know that without their work, the fight against ISIS is a hopeless cause. It is my job to ensure that I'm sending up a quality product to the pilot. I have to make sure that product is going to go boom when he tells it to go boom. In just a few hours, the team churns out 10 JDAMs for the strike mission and sends the live bombs to the flight deck on one of four weapons elevators. 